Whether you're looking to become a locksmith or just want to program and code your own keys for your own vehicle, the Autofix IM1 is a great place to start. That's what we're going to take a look at in today's video. So guys, let's do a quick unboxing of what you get with the IM1. And with the IM1 kit here, you get the IM1 tablet itself. Very thin, very compact, very small. As we talked about on the last Autofix video, when we looked at the D1 Pro, this is powered by Altel, Altel software in this. It is just in a different package, a different piece of hardware. This one has all of our programming functions for immobilizers, for remotes, all of that good stuff. But it also has diagnostics down here, just like a regular scan tool. So you can do both uh, diagnostics, scanning codes, looking at live data, all that good stuff, bi-directional control. And you can also do your immobilizers, coding keys, all that good stuff. So we've got our little packing sheet here in the bottom of the case, showing us we'll get our main unit. We have the XP1, which is right over here. We've got the Autofix V1 VCI, which is up in our accessories. Right up here, we've got our little Autofix VCI, same one that came with the D1 Pro. This one's not charged up, but it does have the little flashlight function. And we've got several cables. We've got our adapters over here for programming. More cords, cables, charger, all that good stuff over here in this drawer. So what we're gonna do today to try out the Autofix IM1, we are going to use it to program a new key for the 2014 Forester project car. It only came with one key, got a second key cut, sent out to me from Subaru Parts Deals. They cut the key, put it back out in the package, sent it out for me. That is the part number there, 57497FJ021. So we've got our new key, but all it'll do is unlock the doors on the manual locks. The remote functions do not work nor will it start the engine. So we need to go through and program this key, both the remote fob for our remote door locks and the immobilizer for being able to start the car. So we're gonna put the IM1 to the test on this task, and we're gonna try to do it in real time just so you can get a feel of how quick and how easy it is to activate the immobilizer and program the fob on a Subaru key. So guys, we're all set up in the Forester now. This is our original key. We can unlock, turn, it will start the car, won't start it right now. Here is our new key. Nothing works remote wise. We can insert the key, we can turn the key, but we cannot start the car. We can't do anything with this key. So we're gonna go ahead and use the IM1 to do this task for us. Now, I haven't used this before, so we're gonna learn it together. I've programmed keys in the past with the uh, Subaru Select Monitor 3 and Select Monitor 4, but I have not done it with the IM1. So let's see how quickly and easily it can accomplish the task. Sorry guys, I had to do a VCI update there. This is the first time using the tool. So it has automatically gone through and selected the Forester. Clear is kind of bad on the screen. And manual selection. Gonna try to do this in real time for you again, guys, so you can see how quick the unit is. And we're gonna hit America. America, come on. There we go. And this is a regular Forester, not an XT. 2014 model year. And we have a blade key. Waiting, 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 everything looks good, and yes. And, all right, so let's go through here. And 
see what we need to hit. I guess hot function, immobilizer. All right, so turn the ignition on. Ignition is on, okay. Establishing communication with the vehicle. Add a key is what we want to do. Hit start. This function is for adding a key. Working key is needed for this function. Are you wanting to continue? Yep. Insert the learnt key and turn the ignition on. It is. Please use the key that is not learnt to learn. Insert the key and turn the ignition on. So we'll take our program key out. We'll put our new key in. Turn the ignition to on. Learning successful. Would you like to learn the next one? No. Only have one key to learn. Success, success, success. Whoop. Don't want to start again. Let's escape. So this is our old key. Our new key is in. Will it start the car now? And yes, it will. So our new key is now programmed to start the car. The immobilizer is set for this key. Our remote does not work though. So now we got to do is we'll swap out, put our old learn key back in, turn ignition switch on. Now let's go to remote control learning. And we'll hit start. Turn the ignition switch off and remove the key. Okay. Please make sure all the remote keys be ready because the next operation must be done in five seconds. Okay. Press lock button on the remote to be learnt. Press unlock button. Lock and unlock. We heard a beep. We heard the lock cycle. So there's three keys registered to this car now. So this is the third key. I have either key number one or key number two, and there's a key for this car that's missing. So lock, unlock, and again, program. Just that easy. We did that in less than five minutes with the Autofix IM1 on a Subaru Blade key. So now we've got two new keys, or we've got one new key for a total of two keys for the 2014 Forester Project car. Quick, simple, easy with the Autofix IM1. So going back to the main menu, I hit the IM status scan. We're gonna hit okay. I'm just gonna play around with some of the functionality of the little tool right now. See what all it'll tell us. Reestablishing communication with the vehicle, I had the key off. Number of registered keys is four. That's now four keys, actually. So we have two in our possession, and there's two floating around somewhere. So we got a green check. Everything's good. We should have done this first before programming, but I know there's no codes in this vehicle after we did that clock spring. So no issues there. So once you do the immobilization or IMMO status scan, you can go down here and add a key guided. Uh, do all the stuff we just did instead of going through hot functions you can go this route so that's nice we're gonna hit escape vehicle information for immobilizer control unit remote relearn all the things we just went through escape out of that escape out of that let's go back to our home so this section up here is all dealing with keys this section is for diagnostics as I said, unfortunately, I did not activate the diagnostics on this car. So I don't think we'll be able to go through and co pull codes and use the regular diagnostic software, but it functions the same as the D1 Pro or the D1 Lite as far as that is concerned. As far as diagnostics, you can go through and scan for codes. You can go through and look at 
and use bi-directional control in the engine, in the transmission, in the different modules in the vehicle. And you can also read all of your live data PIDs. So this is a combo unit, can do both in one small compact little unit. Now, as far as this accessory goes and the rest of the accessories, I cannot really give you much input on that. I am not a locksmith, nor do I program a ton of keys. Uh, and I don't program anything outside of Subaru keys and some older GM stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what this is for. I'm assuming it's for smart keys or uh, bladeless keys. You have to put in there to uh, code some of them on some makes and models. Not entirely sure. What we're looking at is for Subaru applications. And we looked at the Subaru blade key. As we saw, it was quick, easy, and simple to go through and program that new key for the immobilizer program, that remote functionality. I think it's actually quicker and easier than the Subaru factory scan tool, the Select Monitor 3 and the Select Monitor 4, depending on what model your Subaru you're looking at. This is a cool little package, thin little package, small little package, and it's not going to break the bank either. It's pretty reasonably priced, in my opinion, for what you get with both the key side of it and the diagnostic side of it. All right, guys, I know what you're thinking. Out with it already, Mr. Subaru. Tell us the price tag. So this tool, the IM1 full kit, as seen with all the accessories, normally retails for over $1,000. In a previous email, Autofix told me they were going to do a 40% discount on the tool. Uh, I made a TikTok and an Instagram reel about that, but due to the way that Amazon is, they weren't able to do that 40% direct. So what they did was they discounted this tool down to $8.99 on Amazon. There is a instant $100 off coupon on Amazon when you put it in the cart. And then they gave a 10% off discount code on top of that for you viewers, which is 10 Autofix IM1, bringing the price down to $705 if I recall correctly. And honestly, I think that's still a great price for this tool. You're basically getting two tools in one with having your mobilization and your diagnostics all in one in a small, lightweight, compact pack package. I think it's a really great tool for the money. You know it's going to be good because it's got Alltel software inside of it. No worries there. So for those of you interested in picking up the IM1, I will leave a purchase link and the promo code in the video description and in a pinned comment, making it just that much easier for you to get to the correct listing for this tool from Autofix with that $100 coupon code and one that works with the 10% off discount code. Again, really think this is a great little tool for the money. If you are looking to become a locksmith, getting into the locksmithing trade, or if you're just a technician that wants to code keys on the side and you still want something that's good for your diagnostic, live data, bi-directional control, etc., for 600 bucks, this is hard to beat in my opinion. So guys, there you have it. A quick rundown and review of the Autofix IM1 and how quickly it's able to program keys on Subaru vehicles, getting us a second key on our 2014 Forester project car. Again, for those of you interested in purchasing, all the information will be in the video description and in a pinned comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all in the next one.